So in today's video, we're gonna to go to the small town of Fountain City, Tennessee, which is just outside of downtown Knoxville. And if you're new to this channel and you wanna know everything that there is to know about living, working, eating and playing here in the Knoxville, Tennessee area, then you're gonna to wanna to subscribe below and click that bell so you can be one of the first to be notified of the current market conditions here in Knoxville, Tennessee. My name is Todd Jewell. I've been a real estate agent in this area for over 15 years. And me and my team get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are looking to make that move to Knoxville. We love to hear from you. And we don't care if you're looking to make that move immediately or if it's a year from now. We wanna go ahead and get the process started so your move can be as easy and stress-free as possible. Okay, let's get to it. First, let's look at the history of Fountain City. Fountain City was founded in the early 1800s and it was originally called Fountain Bluff. The name was changed to Fountain City in 1854. Fountain City was a popular resort destination in the 19th century and it was home to a number of hotels and boarding houses. The neighborhood continued to grow in the 20th century and it became an important part of Knoxville. Today, Fountain City is a thriving community with a lot to offer its residents. Fountain City is very conveniently located. It is only six miles north of downtown Knoxville and offers the perfect combination of small town living within a 15 minute drive of all the conveniences of downtown Knoxville. So we're gonna begin at one of Fountain City's most beloved landmarks, the Fountain City Park. As you can see behind me, it was founded back in 1932. It's an eight acre park, sits on this side of the road in the duck pond. Uh, it sits on the other side of the road, which we'll walk over and take a look at. So one of the things you can see behind me is you can kind of get a feel for the park. I mean, you've got very mature trees. You know, you've got uh, what wonderful paved trails to enjoy the park from, really nice playgrounds. You can see a much larger playground down in, in the distance. Just a really, really nice park here in the middle of Fountain City. You can see behind me the heart-shaped duck pond. It is a staple of Fountain City. It's got a 0.3 mile uh, paved concrete walking trail that surrounds us. There's park benches. You can see families behind me enjoying the park any afternoon when you come out of here. Everything from fishing to walking to having a picnic. As you can see behind me, another place that you must visit in Fountain City and that is a staple of the cultural part of this community is the Fountain City Art Center that's behind me. They provide classes, they provide exhibits uh, and other culturally rich activities for the community. If you come over to the Arts Center, you will always see the parking lot mostly full, people coming in, people going out. It's a very active area and a very important piece of Fountain City. You can't talk about any smaller town community without talking about the community events that go on throughout the year that bring the community together and create the community that so many people love. Fountain City is no different. Uh, let me talk about about three things that they do throughout the year that have kind of become uh, really big events for this town. One of them is the Fountain City Easter Egg Hunt that's held in the spring. You also have the Fountain City Arts Festival, which brings together a tremendous amount of local artisans uh, to the area. And then lastly, but definitely not least, is the Fountain City Christmas Parade. Fountain City Christmas Parade is a time-honored tradition that marks the start of the holiday season with twinkling lights and festive floats. So whether it's the rich history, the peaceful landscapes, the artistic endeavors, or the scrumptious food here in Fountain City, it has something to offer to everyone. It is a charming slice of Southern Americana nestled in the heart of Knoxville. So you can't consider anywhere to live unless you talk about where you're going to eat when you're there. And, and Fountain City has some fantastic local eats. One of mine of my wife's favorites is what's right behind me, which is Linton's Market Restaurant and bakery. It is known for its hamburgers and its over the top desserts. You can't come to Fountain City and you haven't been to Fountain City if you don't go to Linton's and have a burger. So Linton's is not the only place to eat though in Fountain City, although some people may tell you that it is. Inskill Grill is another local favorite. It was established back in 67. You also have all, most of your change from Chick-fil-A's. I can see a Salsarito across the street. You've got Chop House and some other really good restaurants. And then if you really want the fine dining or something special, you're 15 to 20 minutes out of downtown Knoxville and all the great eateries 
and uh, cuisines that are available there in Knoxville. So if Fountain City excels at anything in the area, and it does in many things, it's going to be its real estate. The median home price here in Fountain City for sold homes is $281,000. That is significantly less than many of the surrounding communities and areas of Knoxville. This is really unique because Fountain City has so much to offer its residents. You're located in a fantastic small southern town, but you're only 15 minutes or less outside of downtown Knoxville and all the amenities of Knoxville. So it creates a very unique opportunity for someone to purchase a home, become part of a fantastic community at a great value for today's market. We're going to look at a couple of those homes. We're going to drive to a couple of communities, in other words, and just kind of give you a feel for what the homes look like in Fountain City. And just so you, you know, homes in this area, the typical home in Fountain City is going to sell in that 250 to 400 range. Does that mean we don't have homes here in Fountain City that are 450, 500, up to million dollars? Absolutely not. But the majority of homes here are going to be more affordably priced than in many areas. Okay, so that completes our tour of this charming little town of Fountain City. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give us a thumbs up below. It's encouraging to see those thumbs up. If you have any comments on or suggestions for future episodes or topics, uh, please leave those in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already reached out to me and my team, please do so below my email address, my phone number's down there. You can also go ahead and get that Zoom meeting set up so we can meet face to face and talk more about your particular situation. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that below also. Click that bell so you can be notified when our new videos come out every week. And I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, guys, I can't wait to see you around town soon.